Hello there. I have decided that I wanted to make donuts. So, got the ingredients out. I'll give you the ingredient list and we will make keto friendly donuts. <laughs> we will be using one cup of almond flour, a third cup of unsalted butter that we're going to melt down, a fourth of cup of granulated sweetener. I'm using monk fruit, so I'm actually going to use a half a cup of granulated sweetener. We've got four eggs. I'll be using two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. I'm going to use one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. After the donuts are done, I'm going to put a cinnamon and sugar coating on it. And that coating is made up of a half a cup of the sweetener and one teaspoon of cinnamon and three tablespoons of melted butter. So let's get going. So for whatever reason, I have a, um, I don't know if I have a taste for donuts, but I had bought monk fruit sweetener. I brought all this almond flour and I need to use it up. So I'm like, okay, let's just do some, um, donuts. Donuts just came to mind. Anyway, the recipe that I'm using, it's like a mix. I've got it off of sugarfreelondoner.com. And the piece for the um, coating I took from a recipe from Wholesome Yum. So as I stated, it calls for a third cup of unsalted butter. I have salted butter, so we'll see what happens with that. So I'm going to uh, stick the butter in, just pop it in a microwave to melt it. I already have the oven preheating at 350 degrees. So let me uh, break apart my third cup of salted butter even though the recipe calls for a third cup of unsalted i'll get that melted and then we'll move on to the next step for mixing together the butter the heavy whipping cream and the um, monk fruit sweetener that i'm going to use all righty i've got the one third cup of butter melted so i'm gonna just pour it into a little mixing bowl it also calls for a half cup of monk fruit sweetener. I'm using monk fruit sweetener, so I'm using a half cup instead of the fourth of cup of urethrol that it called for. Monk fruit sweetener is more um, a same measurement as regular sugar, so that calls for half cup. And then I'm also going to add in two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Oh, brand new one, haven't opened this one, so. Uh, two tablespoons of the heavy whipping cream. Got my tablespoons here. One. And two. So I need to mix this together until smooth. Alrighty, I've got the butter and the sugar and the cream, not sugar, my um, monk fruit sweetener, all blended together. Our next step is to add the eggs. Again, that was four eggs. I just added, cracked my four eggs in here. So we're adding four eggs and also one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then we're going to blend that together until combined. So here are the four eggs going in and just a teaspoon of the vanilla here we go and I'll mix this together and then on to the next step all right after mixing all that up together, we now are to add in the uh, cup of almond flour. Gonna add the almond flour and also a 
teaspoon of baking powder to the mix. Alrighty. And now I need to mix this up together. So here we go again. Alrighty, we get our donut dough all together. Um, it calls now to spoon the mix into the donut pan. I have this as my donut pan, but I'm actually going to hopefully do something a little easier. A trick I heard about. I'm actually going to put the dough into a little baggie and then use the, you know, cut a hole on the side and get it in there. So hopefully it's not as messy. So let's see how this works out for me. <laughs> all righty. Because I haven't done this before, I didn't put all the dough in here yet, but I did put a bit to do hopefully a, at least one. So I'll do one to show you how it turns out. And then I'll finish the other um, five. Because again, I just have a, a six donut pan so as I've stated I'm not the um, uh, experienced baker <laughs> just trying stuff out um, as I try to eat a little bit healthy more healthy uh, so attempting to you know pick up some more keto friendly recipes so I've got my hole in here ah that's going pretty good. The recipe calls for filling the hole about two, three fourths of the way full. And it definitely had the note of not to overfill it. So I'm going to make sure I don't overfill it. But we'll try to get it up there enough. Oh, yeah, that's way simpler. I have enough in here to do more my pan may be a little bit smaller than what it called for because based on how this dough is going in I'm probably going to end up with with 12 donuts and not just six yeah because that little bit that I put in already has me good with two and let's keep going for number three Based on what I've got in here. Oh, yeah. Two is going to... Yeah. About two. All right. So, I'm going to finish with the rest of my donut mix. Finish filling the rest of the uh, donut holes in. And then we will be sticking it into the oven. All righty. So, this is what the six look like so far. And as you see, I do have a little bit of batter left, so I'll be making more. <laughs> so as you saw, I've got the six in the pan, ready to go. Hopefully I didn't fill it up too much, but it could have happened. So as I stated, I had the oven preheated at 350, and the recipe calls for these to be baked for 15 minutes. So into the oven they go for the 15 minutes. And we'll see what we end up with. So, as the donuts cook, I decided, oh, let me show you guys the almond flour I'm using this time. I normally get it from um, Sam's Club. It's in a blue bag, but I ran out of that one. So, I was in Kroger's. So, I ended up buying this Bob's Red Meal Super Fine Almond Flour from Blanche Toll Almonds. Let's see how it's okay. Let's see how the light's going to work with it. So this is the brand that I've used for um, the donuts for today. Again, first time using this brand, so fingers crossed that all will be well. Also, I do have the urethral, but for me that has like a weirdo aftertaste to it sometime. So I ended up buying the um, monk fruit sweetener. I ordered this from Amazon. And I've heard that this doesn't have the same 
I guess, cooling effect, that aftertaste. So we shall see what happens. Um, this one isn't like 100% monk fruit sweetener. I guess there are some others that are because this includes both the urethral and monk fruit sweetener. So we'll see what happens. I used this once um, with another dessert that I made not long ago and it wasn't sweet enough and then I realized I didn't use as much uh, sweetener as I needed to again. This is like a one for one for sugar and I know normally urethral is sweeter than sugar so you don't need as much and this being a blend I guess I just needed to um, add a little bit more. So for the donut recipe I did add more sweetener today. I added a half a cup instead of the fourth a cup that it um, called for. So just wanted to show a little of the ingredients that um, I did use for for today. So I'm going to use a half a cup of this also with some of um, some ground cinnamon and I'll brush the top of the donut after they cool with some melted butter and then we'll mix it in the cinnamon and sugar mixture and we'll see what happens. Do you guys still have your Christmas tree up? Christmas isn't over yet. Um, well, Christmas is over, <laughs> but I have not taken down my tree, as you see. I have moved all the gifts from underneath, though, and um, put that stuff away. When do you guys normally take your tree down? Like, normally for us, it was always we had to have it down by the 1st. So, more than likely, it'll be taken down either the 30th or the 31st of December. And, yeah, I was literally sitting around not doing anything and decided to cook something. So that's why I'm kind of, you know, hair still in my little bonnet <laughs> and all that good stuff because I should be getting ready for bed. But instead, what am I doing? Making donuts. So we got about 10 minutes left for the donuts to continue baking. So uh, we'll check them out as they get closer to being done. And I, I don't remember if I talked about butter in the pan um, or grease in the pan, I think is what it called for, oil in the pan. But all I did, I just went around each of the um, donut tins, holders, whatever they're called. I went around each one just with some butter. So I added some of the grass-fed butter around it. I'm trying to pull up the recipe on my iPad to see what it says. Uh, melt the butter, preheat oven, melt the butter, add the eggs, add the almond, spoon the dough into a well-greased donut pan. So my well-greasing was um, just adding some butter straight uh, to the uh, donut pan. So just to make sure you were clear. And I will have the recipe at the end of the video. That means I need to get it typed up, huh? That's what I'll do in these next eight minutes. <laughs> oh my. These smell so good. Check them out. I've got to let them cool off. But I think they look great. As you see, that one was a bit overfilled, but it should be good. So I'm going to let them cool in the pan for a little bit. Uh... And we'll see what's next. Wow, they smell delicious, though. <laughs> I almost forgot. You guys know I'm always touching something, right? Nice and soft. Nice and soft. Wow. Okay, so since I'm touching this one, I guess this one is mine, maybe? Oh, boy. So, of course, I had to be a little extra to cut this piece off. And I want to make sure it's done enough on the inside. I think it's good, but I may stick it back in the oven just because. We're going to let this little piece cool. Okay, I did stick it back in the oven for like three minutes, but we're going to taste the little donut hole piece. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's going to be really good. And with the cinnamon and sugar, that was real tasty. Yay! 
So as the donuts finish cooling, I'm going to melt three tablespoons of butter. Then I'm going to mix together a half a cup of my monk fruit sweetener that I have there. And also um, about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of the cinnamon. And once these are cooled all the way, I'll brush the butter on top and then roll them in the sugar and cinnamon mixture. Okay, so I have three tablespoons of butter melted. It called for about a half a cup of the sweetener and a tablespoon of the cinnamon. I did not do that much sugar because I was thinking this is going to be too much. But anyway, I'm going to pull this down so we can attempt to move the donuts out. They are nice and cooled. I should be able just to supposedly turn them out, it says. Ah, looky. Yay. One. Let's see if I can do that for, oh, yeah. Check that out. Yay. So they are all coming out. Uh-oh. Yep, even that one. Easy enough with a little, oh my goodness, they are really good and sweet. So as you see, they're smaller probably than normal, right? But with the recipe calling for butter, it looks like it's almost buttery enough. I'm actually just going to do this one. Let's pull this up. I'm just going to sit this one into it and see what happens. If it, oh yeah, it's sticking out automatically. So I, I didn't add the additional butter. <laughs> oh my goodness. I made donuts. So easy and simple. You guys followed along with me. You've got to try this, okay? And the little piece that I tasted was wonderful. Now, the one thing that I did do, as I stated earlier, I did use salted butter, not unsalted butter. What type of a difference does that make? I'm not sure. But the little piece that I did taste earlier tasted wonderful. And according to the recipe, you can then store these like in an airtight container just on the counter. Or if you choose to put them in the refrigerator to store, you can do that and then just take them out, you know, a little bit before you plan to eat them to get them to room temperature. Oh my. See, I didn't need any of that melted butter. Too bad I didn't take these out before I melted it, huh? Now, for the leftover um, donut mix that I had, as opposed to doing more donuts because I only have one pan, These are going to be so good. Um, I just put the rest of that donut um, batter into the pan. I've got it in the oven. Oh, let's see how much of my time do I need for it. Only a couple more minutes for that to cook. And for that, I may put the butter over the top and then sprinkle the rest of this. See, it made, made, made way too much. Um, sprinkle the rest of this over. But here are our keto-friendly donuts. I will post the recipe up um, at the end of the video and um, I can't wait to enjoy these. It's too late to eat it tonight. I may have, well, let's open one up. Let's take a smaller one. So you can see. Oh, wow. Cake-like consistency. Trying to get it where you can get a good view. Definitely easy cake-like consistency with the almond flour, of course. Oh my goodness. A great, great, a great, great treat. Yummy. Sorry. <laughs> but a delicious... A delicious donut and I'm not a big sweet eater at all wow 
two thumbs up. Try the recipe out. Let me know how it works for you. Got any questions? Definitely reach out. I've got contact information in the uh, description box. Other than that, thanks for watching. And until next time, peace. <laughs> that was really good.